My dad started this farm in 1929. I grew up here, uh, loved living here all my life, and we've had Jersey cows and Jersey animals here for close to 80 years. I would have to say that in my dairy life, it was built around the love of the cow. That's the first thing. I've learned through these years that if you take care of the cow, she'll take care of you. I really do all I can to make sure that my cows are healthy. Healthy cows produce high quality milk. And then the second one would have to go into the love of the lifestyle, I guess. Dairy farming gives you a perspective of what's important in life. It's a great place to raise children. It's because you teach them responsibility. They got up with me in the mornings. They worked with me in the fields. There's nothing like living on, on the land. I live with new life, new birth. That all comes from being able to work with the land and work with the cows. Nutrition is very important for the cows. That you want to feed them the best you possibly can. You know, the alfalfa, we feed the cows, and it's a high quality alfalfa, and the grain we feed is high quality, and the, the silage we feed is as high as quality as we can produce ourselves. This is an alfalfa plant that is gonna turn into alfalfa seed. Once it blooms, the blooms will turn into a seed pod, and the seed pod is right here, and these little pods right here have alfalfa seeds inside of them. And once they get dried out and hard, you can harvest them and plant alfalfa with the seed that it produces. The rest of the alfalfa plant goes into a roll and then we bale that and that's made for um, feed. Alfalfa could be different qualities ranging from 16% protein to 25% protein. And the higher the protein, the more production you'll get out of your cows for milk. This hay was belled about five o'clock in the morning when dew was coming in. It's got more moisture to it and it's, and it's a lot more nutrition. It's with a lot more protein in it because it has a lot of leaf there. And it's real soft. Cows love it. They'll pick good alfalfa over any feed. So we are a family farm. Uh, we're probably one of the larger dairies in the area, but uh, we still is family operating, family owned. I've grew up on a dairy farm all my life. There's a lot of things, roles to play on a dairy, uh, from taking care of the baby calves to taking care of the cows. Um, all the roles are very important, especially from baby calves to the cows, because if the calves aren't taken care of as babies, they're less apt to produce to their top potential as cows. I think by raising the calves, you learn a lot of responsibility. You have to get up every morning and feed them. If they're sick, you take care of them, you know. They're just like children. You have to clean up after them. You have to feed them. They can't do nothing for their sale. We milk three times a day to help to keep the cow more comfortable. Got less stress on a cow to milk her three times a day than it is to milk her twice a day. Just it's easier on her. She's not carrying the weight that she would be if she was milked twice a day in her udder. Keeping the stalls clean where they lay, kind of like you would want your own bed to be. We try to keep that for the cows. We clean the water tanks every time we get the cows out just to keep everything clean. It's just one of the things that you love to do and and love being around cows and loving the farms and you know growing food for the people of the country. I grew up with dairy farming. My father had a small dairy uh, where we used to live and I told my father that I would help with the dairy, milk the cows. We've got a maternity section of four pens. This past year we've instituted a new practice. We've put cameras in to monitor them whereby we don't have to keep running from the house at night to check on cows. We can check our monitors and all. We can take a cow and find out if she's in uh, having a problem or when she's about to give birth or the calf has started to beat and delivered. Well, that's when my wife will leave and go to the barn. And it has saved us a lot of time being out in the cold. It, and it has saved calves. We do things and we do it with a passion. 
I have grown up here on the dairy farm. This is something that I love, I'm very passionate about it. Ellie and I have a lot of fun together. We've become extremely close over the last few years just because we spend so much time together. And it's just, it's very rewarding. I've grown up on the farm my entire life, riding with my grandfather in his lime truck, feeding the calves, riding with Lisa in the tractor. To me, a family farm is so important because you get to spend every day with the family. And I had that with my parents and growing up with my dad. And so now with Ellie, we are creating memories that I hope that she will cherish just as much as I cherish the memories that I have with my dad. It's pretty unusual. Ellie and I both married city guys. I never dreamed about milking a cow. Never even knew how it worked until I married him the farm. You know, I, of course, I knew milk come from cows but I didn't realize the process it took to get the milk. I'm a city boy. I came out to the farm. I had to learn all sorts of things. It's been a very uh, interesting transition. It's just a great life. Family dinners, family lunches, we're together. It becomes a very positive uh, synergy for making this dairy work. I grew up in the city. Found out, you know, working with my grandparents some, that I enjoyed this and then I really loved it and I was really passionate about it. Today you have to be able to understand the business, also you need to be a nutritionist, and then you're environmentalist too, making sure the manure is put out in a safe manner. The better quality you produce, the better the milk is, and the better quality um, product you're going to have for the consumer. The product we produce feeds people in the United States and also in other countries. It makes me feel real proud that we're helping feed the world. A lot of people say that it's hard working with family, but I personally wouldn't have it any other way. My mom and my dad farm this farm and me and my brother help. My job around the farm would be feeding the calves and taking care of the calves from birth till weaning. She is great with the calves. She took over when she graduated from college feeding the calves about a year and a half ago. We start them out in the barn with their mothers and they will stay with their mothers for a couple days. We take their mothers away. We actually move them into these pens that you see behind me and they will stay there until they're weaned and then we will move them into a larger area where they can mingle with each other together. Two little helpers would happen to be my two nieces. They're two and a half years old and they love coming to the barn and helping me feed calves. Every time I say that I'm coming down here, they say, wait for me, I go get my boots. I love animals, and so I love taking care of the babies. I just love coming down and seeing progress made and knowing that they're growing and they're healthy. To see the calves go into the milking herd is very rewarding and comforting because you know that you've done your job for them to get them to that point that they can't have a calf and they can't produce milk, and now they are going into the parlor now to do their job for you and everyone else. When you look at it from that perspective that you're feeding the world, it makes you feel very, very proud. We are a family operation, my wife and I, and then we have a son, Blake, he's here. It's something we like to do, we work together every day, and my wife, my son, and I, we all eat lunch together, and one of our, our grandsons, they'll eat lunch with us when they're not in school, so it's something we enjoy. I've learned a lot more over the years on uh, cow comfort, so there's a lot more out there to help a dairyman now than what was maybe 25 years ago. This is a monitor, it's from GEA. This wraps around their feet and locks, and it goes on their left front foot. And when she comes into the parlor, it will scan it. As they come in the parlor back here, uh, there's some stainless steel band fastened to the concrete. It'll scan those leg responders and it'll tell the computer which cows at each stall. And then uh, it'll show her number here on these boxes. It shows the cow number, and then this will show how much milk she's giving right here. These cows are our livelihood. I think that's what the good Lord put me on this earth to do, is to, is to be a shepherd over these cows. And it's something that uh, we're doing to feed this country. You can't go manufacture this. It's something that has to come from these cows. And the cow is the stepmother to the world. I'm Terry Rallett, a second generation dairy farmer from Kentucky. 
and I am dedicated to dairy. I am Don Kinslow, a second generation dairy farmer from Kentucky. I am dedicated to dairy. I am Marty Martinez, and I am dedicated to dairy. I'm H. Barlow, a second generation dairy farmer from Kentucky, and I am dedicated to dairy. I'm Lisa Elliott Clark, a fifth generation dairy farmer from Kentucky, and I am dedicated to dairy. I'm Bill Christ. I'm a third generation dairy farmer from Kentucky, and I am dedicated to dairy. I'm Julie Balance, a third generation dairy farmer from Kentucky, and I am dedicated to dairy. I'm Gail Balance, a second generation dairy farmer from Kentucky, and I am dedicated to dairy. I'm Jimmy Wright, a second generation dairy farmer from Kentucky. I am dedicated to dairy, my cows, my milk, and my land.